What's up everybody, VR Gamer Dude here, and today we're gonna be doing something a bit different on the channel. So today we're gonna be getting our first look at Windows Mixed Reality, courtesy of Acer. Really wanna thank those guys for sending this my way to play with for a bit. It's been kinda cool to check out a different headset. You guys know I do Oculus Rift and Gear VR, and you know, it's always nice to see how the other half lives, I guess. So today we're going to be taking our first look at the AH-101 headset from Acer. We're going to be kind of putting it through its paces, checking out the controllers. We're going to jump into the Microsoft Cliff House, which is their version of home, and kind of give that a once over. And then we're going to go over to Steam VR and we're going to load up a couple of games and see how this baby handles in real gameplay. So all right, let's get it started. Okay, so let's start by taking a look at the headset itself here. Now, the first thing I noticed when I took it out of the box was obviously the weight. Very, very light, nicely distributed. Um, it is completely plastic, this headset, but it doesn't have that cheap feeling that you'd expect. And the weight is also extremely good when worn. Now, I think a lot of that has to do with the crown style head strap that they went with. I had personally never used one like that until this. And I gotta say, I'm kind of sold on it. It's really comfortable and it just helps to make the headset kind of melt away during gameplay. Now, another huge factor that I found myself loving right off the bat is this right here. So when I put the headset on, if I need to interact with my real world, say I'm doing a video for you guys and I wanna interact with you, boom, I can just flip it up and be present in the moment again. So super cool design choice there. Would love to see that in other headsets going forward. Now, the one drawback to this headset compared to say the Rift or a Vive with the digital audio strap, there is no onboard audio. So it's kind of bring your own headphones with this one. You're not gonna have a built-in mic. You're not gonna have built-on headphones. All you get is this little guy right here that allows you to plug your own headphones in. So more to come on that when we get into the gameplay portion of this video, but that, I don't know, I've gotten kind of spoiled with the Rift, so that to me is definitely in the you know, con column of my pros and cons for this particular headset. The cord length is decent. I think you've got about a 13 foot cord here. Um, obviously, I will be using that with extensions so that I can get a little bit better room scale. And you've also got the cameras on the front. Now, the cameras don't really do anything in this headset other than the inside out tracking. That's right. This one, unlike the Rift or the Vive, does not require any external tracking cameras or base stations. It does everything from the, from the headset. That's, that's kind of what they're calling inside out tracking or what Windows Mixed Reality calls world scale tracking. So the cameras here, they're gonna kind of map out the room. You still set boundaries, but not having to rely on that external camera source gives you a lot more freedom of movement. So definite pro there. Okay, so on to the controllers. So the controllers for the Acer AH-101, typical to most of what you're gonna get with your other Windows Mixed Reality headsets, uh, other than the Samsung Odyssey. I think it uses a little bit different controller design. Seems like they are based kinda loosely on the uh, Vive ones. Now, I have obviously gotten spoiled with my Oculus Touch controllers being very ergonomic and, and fitting to the hands. So, took a little getting used to with the controllers here. Now, the first thing you'll notice is, is you can actually see the lights on them. So, not using infrared, such as the touch controllers, it actually uses visible light spectrum for the tracking cameras on the headsets to see. Now, the other cool thing that I do like about these controllers, as you can see, they not only have a thumbstick, but they also have a trackpad. So the trackpad opens up some, you know, uh, I mean, it's kind of nice. You can assign buttons to it because these are a little lacking in buttons, but we still get that nice analog stick smoothness uh, for movement when supported in a game. 
Um, overall, the weight feels good. They do feel balanced. They do feel a little cheaper uh, plastic than I would like. I, you know, considering that you might clunk them together or drop them. Hopefully, you're wearing your your hand straps so you won't do that. That to me is kind of I don't know. It's uh, it's kind of iffy uh, because I have smashed my touch controllers together a couple of times in certain games like Box VR when I'm going to uh, you know do the little block thing. Um, so I don't know how well these will hold up having the ring the big rings in front of them. But obviously time will tell there. So you do have your uh, trigger buttons. You've got your grip buttons right where you would expect them to be. You've got your windows button. You've got some sort of a, a menu or system button here, your trackpads and your sticks. So pretty, pretty well thought out on the layout. But like I said, just kind of still having a little trouble getting used to these after using the Oculus Touch. Okay, so I think it's finally time to uh, check out the Acer Windows Mixed Reality headset in some real world applications. So first we're going to jump into the Microsoft Cliff House and we're going to kind of give it a little bit of a tour, see what it's capable of doing. And then the big test, how well will it perform with Steam VR? really want to see what this thing's capable of for gaming and is it a viable alternative to the Rift or the Vive. So let's go. Okay, here we are in Microsoft Home, or as they call it, the Cliff House. And uh, man, right off the bat, I got to tell you, chill environment. Um, don't hate this at all. Uh, got the wind rush sound going on. Got this nice scenery back here. And immediately, I, I notice a slight increase in the resolution. Um, you know, this definitely has the higher resolution panels, and it does show um, not getting any blur, you know, so I mean, definitely good there. Now, where I am having some issues is with the controllers, and it'll probably happen here any time now but so far one or either one of my controllers will just sometimes go flying off into space um, or they'll get crossed and I think a lot of that has to do with the uh, the fact that they have to be seen by the cameras here so you know say I put my hands down at my side here um, sometimes they they, they kind of wig out a little bit so um, enough about that um, the home space pretty cool uh, you can pin things up oh, 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 there they go see um, you can pin things wherever you want them uh, so that's a definite plus like you can see I've got my desktop over there I already pinned, uh, pinned it in there when we were playing around earlier um, so really like that feature like the ability to pin those windows where I want them and uh, and have them stick in the world and then you got these things called holograms you know these are the things that you can place around the house and uh, you know so let's say I'll take this guy here and we'll just you know we'll just place them over here somewhere and there you go now one thing I really like though is the fact that this allows me to resize it so I can make this guy huge and wow, I mean, it looks really good um, enlarged and close up. So now that we're done with that, we'll just go ahead and tell it to save it. And what's that do? And there we go, and that collapses it. So, you know, you can decorate any way you want. Now, another thing that I really did like about the Cliff House here is, yes, it has a theater room. And, and this is something that I really would love to see come to Oculus Home 2.0, um, Steam VR Home. You know, you make it a home. I mean, you know, you've got, like, a, a house here, you know. So you've got different rooms. I can, I can have different themes in different rooms. And, and one of them... That I desperately want, especially with social coming out here soon in Oculus, is is a theater room. I want to be able to bring my friends and my family over, show pictures, videos, you know, and do all that in virtual reality. Um, another cool thing about Microsoft's theater room here is the retractable roof, and it's a really, really cool effect love that so I'm not gonna bore you guys by showing you pictures of my family and stuff on here you just realize yeah this is where you do all your movies and TV so oh, there goes that controller again 
So anyway, that that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I mean, you you definitely you know have a little freedom of decoration. Uh, pluses are you you for sure have the ability to pin things to the walls and have them stick. Uh, desperately want that in Oculus at the moment. Um, but all right, I think that's enough of this. Let's go ahead and jump into Steam VR and see how the uh, Acer Windows Mixed Reality headset fares in some true VR gaming. So let's go. Okay, so here we are in my favorite VR game right now Skyrim uh, testing out the uh, Acer Windows Mixed Reality and I gotta say man visually spot on um, the head tracking is really good but once again the controllers are what are failing me at this moment um, it's literally if they even go slightly out of the camera's field of view they just they they wig out and 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 my weapons and arm my my shield are shaking in just oh my god it's like i got a palsy here so you know definitely not looking good for the windows mixed reality headset so far in uh, gaming aspects uh, now that's not saying that it sucks uh, it's just it's it's really difficult here I mean the, the tracking seems like it's okay as long as I keep my hands full forward in front of me so uh oh what we got here here a dragon Oh, my fate, my headless companion here. Uh, my gums, jaws, and teeth, and eyebrows. Uh, whoa, big dragon. You don't see me. So, you know, I guess the, what I'm getting at is can you game on it? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm gaming on it, and and you know, just strolling through the environment is definitely breathtaking um, on these higher resolution screens. But you know, the controls, oh, man, oh beautiful, loving Skyrim right now. Got about 68 mods installed, and it is just looking absolutely gorgeous, except for Headless over there. So, got to figure that one out. So, anyway, I'm not going to waste a lot of time. This isn't a gameplay video. Um, just, you know, definitely, yes, you can game in Steam VR with a Windows Mixed Reality headset, but your mileage is going to vary. Uh, the tracking so far is, is, in my opinion, just really poor on these controllers. So I think we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, you know, like I said, this wasn't a gameplay video. This is just a uh, testing the headset video. But some some final thoughts, you know, man, it, it definitely visually looks better. I mean, it, it's clearer, things in the distance are, are sharper, so plus there, but man, the controller tracking is just poor, and that is disappointing, because I can tell you, the, the gaming in this is actually decent. Uh, the head tracking is really smooth. Uh, if there was a way to get these controllers to track better I, I really say that I would recommend this as a viable alternative to the Rift or the Vive but you know you got to have good tracking and uh, without good tracking the, the, the game is just going to frustrate you so for that reason right there and that reason alone I, I'm going to say probably with the price differential I would recommend the Oculus Rift over the uh, Acer Windows Mixed Reality headset. Um, and that's not to say it's a bad headset by any means. If, you, if you're just looking to get into something high-end uh, VR PC, you don't have a super high-end gaming rig, you know, this is still a viable way to go. 
but for the slim margin in the price, if you've got a rig that'll run it, it's just a no-brainer. You you got to go with a Rift. So, all right, um, I I think that's gonna do it, man. Um, but thank you so much for watching, as always. And if this was your first time coming by the channel to check out what I do here, thank you so much for coming by and checking that out. If you want to see more great VR content, head over to my main page. Take a look through my videos. You never know what you're gonna find and if you like something there smash subscribe come along with me next time i do something cool or test a headset or you know uh, i will have a full skyrim video coming up in the rift with the uh the, all the mods i did so be sure to uh, stay tuned for that but for me guys that's gonna do it today this is vr gamer dude signing off y'all peace <laughs>